Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel, Hair System DIY, where we discuss hair systems, which is a very popular solution for hair loss issues. I usually talk about male pattern baldness in relation to hair loss and hair systems, but today I'm doing something a little bit different. And if you don't want to watch, that's absolutely fine, you don't need to. But today I'm going to be talking about hair pulling conditions, notably trichotillomania, something that I've experienced for 32 years now, and how I think that hair systems and wigs can be the long term solution to this condition. Now Levivid is sponsoring today's video. I'm a Levivid hair system wearer and here's a quick message. Today's sponsor guys is Levivid. You can find them at levividhair.com. You can get a 15% discount code on any stock hair system or accessories that I've negotiated with them just for you guys. It's Adam15. All the information is in the description box below this video. If you want high quality hair systems with good shipping times and top customer service, consider Levivid. So we're gonna be looking at the benefits of hair systems, real life experiences, and also I'll be giving you my opinions on why hair systems work for conditions like trichotillomania. So what is trichotillomania? It's a mouthful is what it is. It's basically a hair pulling, it's a compulsive hair pulling condition. It is a body focused compulsive disorder. It's not a million miles from OCD. A lot of people who have this condition have OCD as well and ADHD, which is something I've also got. And it'll sound mad to anyone who doesn't experience trichotillomania. Now I'm gonna to refer to the condition as trick throughout this video as that's the shortened term for it. And it revolves around a repetitive an irresistible urge to pull out your own hair. Now that must sound mad to people who don't experience it, but that's literally what it is. There's no official treatment for it. There's no treatment that consistently works for everyone. It can happen anywhere on your body. It can happen on the hair on your head. It can happen in your eyebrows, eyelashes, pubic hair. Anywhere there's hair, you have this irresistible urge to pull. Now, why is that? Well, it's a form of stress relief and it's a form of self-soothing. Most people develop it when they're under the age of 10 or in their teenage years, and it's usually as a result of a very stressful experience or a series of stressful experiences, and the hair pulling is a form of stress relief, or it acts like that. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be thinking, well, how does that make sense? When I pull my hair out, it really hurts. Yes, it does, but after a while, if you keep doing it, it stops hurting and it actually feels quite good. Now, there are a number of treatments which are varying in their effectiveness. Some medications, some supplements, NAC being another, uh, being one of them, uh, but also therapy, so acceptance and commitment therapy, where you just surrender to the sensations in the hope they'll go away. I didn't find that particularly very helpful. There's also behavioral therapies which you can use, which again, some people find helpful. Some people like me just don't. Now I'm gonna show you a quick video which I came across in my research and apologies if I get a bit choked up when I'm watching this um, because this young lady called Hattie uh, has gone through exactly the same thing as me and what one to 2% of the global population go through. So I'm gonna show you this video so you can see what trichotillomania is like, trick, what the kind of impact that it has. And this young lady, like myself, has started wearing wigs and it's massively helped her. So that was Hattie and kudos to her for being so brave to actually make a YouTube video about this. But you can see the difference wearing a wig for her has made to her overall appearance. And you can see in her body language as well, she feels a lot more comfortable in her skin. Now I'm also gonna put up on the screen right now images of people who experience trichotillomania. As you can see, massive balding patches where they pull their hair out. There's a picture of me as well popping up from when I was about 24. As you can see, there's a lot of pulling that's been going on at the front of my hairline and going further back. So why do I think that hair systems or wigs for women can be really effective or are really effective for trick? Well, the most important thing is with the condition, you have this consistent urge to pull your own hair. It, it's only effective and it only works consistently because you get the relief when you have the feeling of pulling out your own hair. Now I know that sounds nuts, but with hair systems and wigs, 
you you don't get a stress relief because it's not your hair. And I remember when I first started wearing hair systems, I was pulling out like I used to, but I was like, I'm not getting the stress relief. This isn't self-seething for me because I'm not getting the relief of it being my own hair coming out. It gives you that short burst of stress relief. You don't get that when it's not your own hair. You don't feel a thing, so you don't get stress relief. And after a while, and I've seen this a million times, after a while, the urge just subsides. Now, does that mean that the condition or the habit can manifest itself in other parts of your body? Well, yes, possibly. I mean, I've noticed that since I've massively cut back on, you know, my hair pulling now is that I tend to bite my nails a bit more. I know there's solutions to that as well, which I'm I'm definitely considering. I also tend to keep my hair short on the sides because this is my short natural hair. And yes, I do still go for it if it goes long. That's why I keep it at a zero or a one, if anyone's wondering. I think as well, hair systems can help with the social anxiety that comes with Trick. So with Trick, because you have these massive boarding patches on your head, it can cause a lot of anxiety and it can stop you wanting to go out and socialize and see your friends or go out dating, as I'm sure you can totally understand. Now with a wig or a hair system, you don't have that issue anymore. The hair pulling has massively diminished because There's no hair of your own to really pull out anymore. And it means that you can feel more confident in yourself. Go socializing, going out, and that kind of thing. You can feel like you again, and you don't have that constant urge to pull out your hair. Because guess what? It's not your hair. So in conclusion, I feel like hair systems and wigs work best for hair pulling conditions because the urge to actually pull the hair out diminishes over time. Because the trigger, the trigger to keep doing the habit and the condition is the pulling out of your own hair and the stress relief and the self-soothing that comes with it. Once that's gone, the urge to pull the hair out goes. So it's pretty effective. It's more effective across the board from the research that I've done than any other intervention. But what do you think, guys? Do you have a hair pulling condition? Girls too. I know that 25% of my viewers are women. I don't quite know why there's a hair system channel, but I'm glad to have you on board. And I love everyone who's been following me and watching my videos for some time. What do you guys think? Have you ever experienced a hair pulling condition? It does affect 2% of the global population. So maybe you're one of those people. Now, for anyone who's interested in learning more about how trichotillomania and other hair pulling conditions can be helped by hair systems, hair pieces, wigs, toppers, whatever you want to call them, I'm putting a video up on the screen right now where a lady shares her experience of trichotillomania and how wearing a wig has changed her life. So I hope you enjoy that.